Hello, my name is Ethan Kalupitan. I'm from Warhol High School and my science fair project is about pill absorption. Okay, so for my question for um, this experiment and my science fair project, it was if someone drinks a certain liquid with a pill, will it dissolve or get absorbed faster? And in my experiment, I used research, exampling, and data collecting to support my conclusion. And my hypothesis for this experiment was if the chalk was mixed with vinegar, then it would dissolve the fastest. And my experiment today will decipher and support this questioning. Okay, so for my experimental design, I had to figure out what I wanted to use for to represent the pill. And I decided to use a piece of chalk and I grounded it up in the right hand corner. You can see a picture of um, the blue chalk grounded up. I used blue just so it can be um, easier for me to see if it's all the way dissolved. I also used distilled white vinegar, tap water, 2% milk and orange crushed soda for the known liquid. Um, the, the, the distilled white vinegar was um, that it acted as the control in my experiment and it also acted as the stomach acid in the control, which would represent your stomach with no, um, no liquid in it, just the stomach acid. I also used a plastic cup as a stomach and a spoon to swirl the, um, the liquid around. And yeah, and each cup had two ounces of the liquid and was also measured with a measuring cup. So it can all be the same. Okay, so for the steps in my uh, experiment, the first thing that I did was I placed two ounces of each liquid in a separate plastic cup. And then I grounded up a piece of chalk that was approximately one centimeter of diameter and it was one centimeter in length. So just like a regular writing chalk that you see at school, it was a piece and I just measured it to one um, centimeter in length. And then I grounded that up and then I placed it into each liquid and I did it one at a time so I can document each one um, one at a time I started up and then I documented the um, stop time okay so for any experiment there is of course um, some risk and safety precautions that you have to take so even though I was using basic liquids um, I did want to stay protected and I did want to stay as safe as possible so I use gloves and eyewear um, during this experiment and I use PPE um, just in case I, I use the PPE just in case um, an accident would occur and also paper towels were near just in case of a spill. Okay, time for the results of my experiment. So for the for the vinegar, the water and the milk, there really wasn't any smell or change. There was just um, visual change. So for the white vinegar, there was no change in smell, and there was no sizzling that happened or chemical reaction that occurred. It just turned the liquid blue, pretty much. Uh, for the water, the same thing, nothing really occurred, just turning the liquid blue. And as well as the milk, nothing really happened when um, I placed the chalk into the milk. There was no smell, there was no different reaction that happened. It just turned the milk a light blue color but for the orange soda there was a different reaction so when i poured the chalk into the orange soda the liquid did sizzle and it ended up turning this liquid um greenish brownish color as you can see there's um three pictures up here the one on the far left is with the milk and you see it's like a light blue and the other two are photos of the soda so it's like a greenish um brownish color that it turned um, liquid. Okay, so for some numbers for you, um, just so you know, when I was documenting the, the time, I used a, a stopwatch on my phone and I measured it in seconds. So for the white vinegar, it took 53 seconds to dissolve, um, took 61 seconds for um, the water. The 2% milk took a total amount of 92 seconds and the crushed soda took 29 seconds to dissolve. Okay, so when I got to the end um, of doing each liquid and recording the times, I put all the times in a chart 
as well as with the visual um, observations. And um, I did a little thinking and concluding about this experiment. And then in my conclusion, I discussed all the ending results. Okay, so for my conclusion, so I concluded that the 2% milk took the longest for the chalk to fully dissolve, while the soda took the shortest amount of time. This concluded that my hypothesis was incorrect because I said that the, the fastest would have been the vinegar, but in this experiment when I concluded it, it showed that the orange soda was the fastest to dissolve. And then, um, though the soda would has taken the uh, shortest amount of time for the pill to dissolve. I just wanted to say that future data collecting and in a different experiment can conclude if this is the best liquid to consume with the pill. Here is a couple of my references and of the articles that I used to um, conclude this experiment. Okay, so here's the finale. I would like to acknowledge my parents for supervising me and helping me with this experiment. I'd like to thank them. And I really had a fun time doing this experiment and this science fair.